In this video, we show you how to configure an IO Link master port with the free parameterization software Monio Configure in order to use device validation and data storage, such as backup and restore. By activating this function, the IO Link device is automatically checked and parameterized by the IO Link master. For the setup, we use a 24 volt DC power supply, a PN3071 pressure sensor, an AL1120 IO Link master, and a notebook. The pressure sensor is connected to port number one of the master, which is connected to the notebook via Ethernet. As already mentioned, we use the free parameterization software Maneo Configure for the configuration. In the following, we show where this can be downloaded and installed. This setup and the parameterization of the master is exemplary and can be used for all IFM masters as well as for controllers that do not support the port configuration. An example of this is the Sysmax Studio programming software for controllers from Omron. If you are dealing with a PLC that covers this functionality, the procedure is different. In such a case, the controller overwrites everything. An example of this is a Siemens PLC that is configured via the TIA portal or an IFM controller that can be configured via codes. In this case, please refer to another how-to. The Monio configuration software can be downloaded for free at ifm.com. You only have to register once and get free access to many helpful programs and tools. There are various ways to get to the software. For example, navigate via the IIoT and Solutions tab to the IO Link section. On the IO Link landing page, under Ideal for your IO Link devices, at the top right, you will find a link that will take you to the download. Besides, the software can also be found in the downloads area of every IO Link device from IFM. Save the file and install the Maneo Configure free software on your PC. As we are using Maneo Configure as part of the Maneo IIoT platform, we have different tabs at the top. However, the procedure remains the same. On the home screen of the software, there is a network scan button in the top right corner. If we select this, various scan functions are shown on the right. If we want to address an individual device directly, or if only a specific IP range is enabled, we recommend selecting the specific IP address or IP range option. The use of a USB master should also be taken into account here when scanning. As these cases do not apply here, we simply use the scan all function to scan the entire network. The available network adapters are also displayed on the left. The IO Link Master is connected to the Ethernet port with the IP address 192.168.1.250. After scanning, all available devices are listed. As we can see, the Ethernet port and the master are already in the same network. If this is not the case, Manio configure signals that the IP address needs to be adjusted. If you want to know how to bring network devices into the same network, please watch the How to IO Link Integration videos. In our case, we can now simply access the master and the devices connected to it. As we want to configure the port, we switch to the parameter view of the IO Link master. We select port number one to which the pressure sensor is connected. The parameters mode, validation and data storage, as well as vendor and device ID must be adjusted. The other parameters shown for this port have default values which can be adopted. The mode parameters selected first. The port can be configured as a digital input or output, deactivated or used as an IO link port. We set the port to IO link and select validation and data storage next. There are also four options here which we will briefly explain with the operating instructions of the master. We go to the IFM homepage and navigate to the online data sheet of the IO Link Master AL1120 we use. However, an explanation of the function can also be found in the operating instructions for every IO Link Master from IFM. The manual can be found in the download area of the device. We open it and navigate under configuration to the referring point. Let's have a closer look at this table. 
The first option, No Check and Clear, allows any I.O. link device to be connected to the port and read. This means that there is no device check and no data storage. The next two options, Type Compatible Device, can be used to check that the correct sensor is connected. This can be done with the new 1.1 standard and even with the first I.O. Link standard 1.0. Only the device type is checked, without any kind of data storage. The validation check for the new I.O. Link standard 1.1 can be extended by the data storage options, restore or backup and restore. The restore function saves a parameter set once and automatically transfers it to a new device with factory settings. The backup and restore function also saves any parameter changes made in the meantime. As soon as a new device with factory settings is connected, the saved parameter set is transmitted. For this demonstration, we choose the backup and restore function. To get everything up and running, we also need to change the vendor and device ID for port one. This information can be found in the IODD of the PN3071 pressure sensor we are using or in the header of the corresponding parameter view of the device in Maneo configure. We chose to use the IODD for this purpose. On the IFM homepage, the search function takes us directly to the online data sheet for the sensor. In the downloads area, we scroll down and select the IODD. On the first page, you will find the vendor ID 310 for IFM and the device ID 428 for the PN3071 pressure sensor. We enter the vendor and device ID in the corresponding parameters and write all values to the master. This allows the master to validate whether the correct device is connected or not. First, we check the master's device validation. If the correct sensor is connected, as shown here, the corresponding status LED will light up continuously in green. Now we unplug the M12 connector and plug in another sensor. If an incorrect device with a different vendor or device ID is used, this will be recognized by the master. The process values will not be read out and the status LED will change to red. Only when we reconnect the correct pressure sensor does the LED color change back to green. The master accepts the wired sensor and reads out the process values. Now let's move on to the data storage function. As we can see, the current pressure value is displayed in green. This parameter set with a green display is stored in the IO link master due to the backup and restore function. We will now simulate a new pressure sensor with factory settings. To do this, we connect the existing sensor to a power supply without a connection to the IO link master or the controller and manually set the factory settings. As we can see, the sensor display is red by default. Now we connect exactly this sensor to the I.O. link port of the master that we have configured and see what happens. The master recognizes that it is a factory set device and overwrites the saved parameter set. After the successful transfer, the sensor display changes to green. The new pressure sensor is now parameterized in the same way as the previous device. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.